Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. And today for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we will be stepping back into the animal realm in order to discuss the turtley wonder of the Kamekame no Mi. The Kamekame no Mi is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a turtle, as well as a turtle human, or I guess in this case, a turtle mink hybrid. Because in the series, it was consumed by the ever adorable lion mink becomes, and was first demonstrated to our eyes during the Fishman Island arc. The name for this fruit is absurdly simple as it is taken directly from the Japanese word for turtle being Kame, which I feel like most anime fans of a certain age should be familiar with thanks to Dragon Ball, or more specifically, thanks to Master Roshi, AKA the turtle hermit, or the Kame Senin, who also happened to live at Kame House with his best friend in the world, a talking turtle. But as you can probably assume from that, the English translation produces a flawless effort this time around by naming it the Turtle Turtle Fruit. So turtles, eh? If somebody ever asked you what type of animal you'd like to turn into, this likely would not be the first choice of many. However, turtles are actually pretty damn incredible creatures. Having evolved into their final form millions of years ago and currently make their homes all over the world in almost every type of climate imaginable. So if your main concern in this world is simply survival, then access to a turtley form would appear to be your natural ally. And a lot of that natural evolution stems from the selling point of the turtle being the nigh on impenetrable defense that is their shell. Now a turtle shell is one of the absolute marvels of this world and pun perhaps to be intended, because equipped with these, turtles very much become the Captain America of nature in terms of sheer shielding. And while the exact pressure required to break through the shielding differs from varying types of turtles, I would like to point out that it is perfectly capable of surviving an encounter with an alligator, a creature which can om nom nom with a pressure of over 1.3 tons or 2,900 pounds. In fact, in several recorded cases of turtle versus alligator altercations, the alligator just gives up most of the time and leaves the turtle to continue its existence. However, I I will once again point out that this tolerance varies depending on your particular turtle brand, and sea turtles are very notable as creatures with significantly softer shells than most of their counterparts. This also might be a good time to mention the difference between turtles and tortoises, because it may or may not be surprisingly relevant for a video detailing devil fruit powers. But essentially, they're the same thing. A turtle is a label applied to those who spend most of their lives in water, whilst a tortoise dwells primarily on land. Although this distinction is only really necessary to make in English, because in Japanese, kame can mean either turtle or tortoise, but I would assume that the English translation has decided to go with turtle simply because it sounds, you know, snappier. But if there was some deeper meaning to this, then the user of this fruit could find themselves in an unfortunate situation, all of a sudden filled with the desire to swim, but lacking the ability to do so. Something we also haven't seen with this fruit as of yet would be its hybrid form, which I would be very keen to gaze upon because a mink turtle would be quite the sight. However, in the case of human consumption, I feel like we could all pretty reliably predict what the likely outcome would be, effectively transforming oneself into a fully fledged teenager Age mutant ninja turtle, and assumedly granting you the ability to fight petty crime. And also rather unfortunately, we haven't strictly speaking seen the full beast version of the Kamekame no Mi either, which smoothly brings us to how Pecoms does and does not make use of this fruit. So Pecoms is one of those characters that I more often than not just kind of forget even has a double fruit because he's already a super cool lion mink and he has a Sulong transformation and everything. But no, we must never forget that underneath all of that is the option to invoke some turtley glory. And we did see this used in his introduction to the series, where he transformed into what I'm assuming is the full beast form, and then retreated into his shell to shield himself against a machine gun assault from Karabo. So it becomes is proving right then and there that this shell can withstand an incredible degree of force applied to it. Furthermore, this total nature is what allowed Pecoms to survive being assassinated by Capone Gang Beige on Zo, which continues to highlight its defensive benefits, as even being caught by surprise, Pecoms was able to act quickly enough to prevent his death in this situation. Despite this though, Pecoms doesn't really invoke his fruit powers all that often at all, preferring to fight instead in his natural lion form or even his uncontrollably powerful Sulong incarnation. And if I had to posit a reason as to why, it's because I'd say that Pecoms is probably quite poorly matched with this particular fruit as a being who is naturally concentrated on speed and power, whereas the Kamekame no Mi is an existence that focuses solely on patience and defense. And actually given the speed of turtles, it probably greatly reduces the agility of its user in either its hybrid or full beast form, thus making it very unideal for the kind of situations that Pecoms would frequently find himself in, but it does give him quite the amazing get out of jail free card in regards to instant and amazing defense, so it's far from useless. I just think that Pecoms is also far from its ideal wielder. It's also interesting to note that Pecoms is, I think, the only confirmed non-Paramecia user of the Big Mom Pirates, although there is potential for there to be another, which we will be exploring next week. But getting back into the idea of awakenings, who's keen
keen for a big old turtle. So look, of every awakening I've covered within the Zoan class, this is one of those ones that I would be less than excited about. Awakenings in Zoan form do of course bring with them greatly increased size, power, and rate of recovery. However, they very much bank on enhancing the base instincts and features of the animal in question. So other than significantly more defense, I don't know how much there is to be gained by awakening the Kamekame no Mi. However, in exchange, should a user awaken this fruit, then it should be far easier to mentally control as opposed to a carnivorous Zoan or something that would go wild with killer instinct. So there is that, and yes, many turtles can be aggressive, but overall, this is probably one of the more chilled sectors of nature right here. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a turtle human or even a turtle mink. Something to very much keep in mind when adopting your new turtle lifestyle is that they are ectotherms, meaning that in turtle form, you will become dependent on external sources of body heat because it will be nigh on impossible to generate enough of your own simply to sustain living. And this is important to keep in mind because it means that becoming a turtle in particularly cold climates may or may not be a horrendous idea. Also of minor interest, while most Zoan fruit users take their clothing into account when transforming, the Kamikami no Mi is a bit of a weird existence in that regard, as if the user retreats into their turtle shell it leaves their clothing on the outside of the shell, making them very, very naked on the inside. Although the user simply needs to pop their limbs back into whatever attire before reverting into their original form. Although even then, Pecoms has been shown needing to adjust his clothing after the use of this fruit. Also of note is that turtles are generally omnivores. So as a result of eating the Kame Kame no Mi, you may find yourself wishing to expand your dietary horizons. Although I should point out that tortoises are herbivores, so if the fruit really can be applied into a more tortoise-centric way, then it may suit vegetarians and vegans quite well. And for meat eaters, you may find your appetite waning in favor of delicious, delicious grasses and flowers. So in the end, I can't say that I would be particularly excited about the prospect of being able to transform into a turtle via the powers of the Kamekame no Mi. The main benefit to invoking the abilities of a turtle seem to be a strictly defensive utility, and I won't deny that that could be incredibly useful in certain rare situations. I mean, provide you can transform in a decent amount of time, then you'd never have cause to be afraid of a gun ever again. Although to be fair, if someone shoots like into your shell rather than at it, then that's still a pretty major problem. But also I can't help but feel the need to respect the hustle of the turtle. It is one of the world's most enduring creatures and in the wild, they are a rock solid fortress of existence. But taking those benefits into the world of humanity, I don't think that they elevate existence quite enough to eat this over almost any other zone type that we've encountered in the encyclopedia thus far. I mean, yes, I would probably consume the Kamekame no Mi over the Dachshund fruit or Chopper's Hito Hito no Mi because there is a chance that that does absolutely nothing except losing you the ability to swim. But I think that this fruit is very much on the lower tier in my mind. So if you like turtles and you want to become a turtle yourself, then go for it. I personally am probably just going to wait for a better Zoan or any other class of fruit to come along. And with that, we are going to commit the Kamekame no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next time on the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we have a bit of an enigma to solve because this will be the first fruit I cover in the series that currently has no subclassification. However, it does have a name, so we are going to be cracking open the mysteries of the Tamatama no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to see more videos like this but apply to other anime and manga series, then please do check out my second channel, New World Review, for all of your wider needs. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenanigans retakes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Kamekame no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. Do you think Luffy's straw hat has a devil fruit or will have? Well, look, you know what? Come to think of it, I don't think we've ever seen the straw hat floating on water, so maybe it does. But in all seriousness, no, it surely does not. I mean, if it did, it would have to be a Zoan fruit, in which case the hat would have taken on a life of its own. And it's not so much that I'm against the idea of it happening in the future. I mean, I think it would be quite quirky if the straw hat were to be given a devil fruit by say, Dr. Vegapunk or something, and then maybe it could actually tell its epic tale of existence. And as for what kind of animal that would be, well, maybe some sort of monkey Zoan would be appropriate anything that expresses a huge degree of joy really. So maybe even a golden retriever Zoan because they are some of the best dogs in the universe and permanently smiling. But at the same time, the straw hat fusing with a devil fruit probably is not a possibility because it is too bizarre even for One Piece. 
From how far away could people hear your joyful outburst when you saw the 100k subs? Well, people from all over the world would hear it, but that's primarily because I was on my Discord server at the time. But it really was a situation that did make me yell out loud in victory, which you need to understand is a very, very strange thing for me to do because I'm such a quiet person in reality and expressing any sort of emotion is unusual. But it was a nice victory for the channel because the 100k mark came at a time where we had two kind of BS copyright strike issues to deal with, and it really was an overwhelming show of support from all of you Grand Fleet members who I am so proud to be associated with. And at the time of this recording, we are currently sitting at over 134,000 subscribers, which continues to be so incredible. So we are continuing at an incredible rate, and who knows just how far the Grand Fleet will go and make its presence known in the world.